there's a lot of graves in here that we'll probably come back to but right now we're just kind of giving y'all an overview of this huge cemetery we're at the back of it This is a Linwood Cemetery, right? Yep. This is North Street. Huh? This is called North Street. Linwood is buried right off North Street. Interesting little monument there. A lot of history in this place. A lot of history. It's North Street number two. Something over here we're going to go take a look at. Little Center Avenue. Ah, here we go. Brigadier General Henry Lewis Benning, born in Columbia County, Georgia, April 2nd, 1814. Henry L. Benning attended Franklin College prior to practicing law in Columbus. As a local attorney and state Supreme Court judge, Benning played an active role in Georgia's succession in 1861. Entering the Civil War as Colonel of the 17th Georgia Infantry Regiment, he eventually became a Brigadier General. He was wounded at the Battle of the Wilderness, but continued his leadership of Benning's Brigade until the surrender at Appomattox. I didn't pronounce that right. After the war, Benning returned to Columbus, resumed his law practice. He died on July 10th, 1875. Fort Benning is named in his honor. What is this, dear? You're the, you're the, uh, what? pronounce that, because I know I mispronounced. Appomattox. Appomattox, uh -huh. okay. So we're going to look at his grave. We just stumbled upon, upon this. I knew he was here. I just saw that sign. I knew that was something. So this is what Fort Benning is, this is who Fort Benning is named after. I just read him the sign. You probably would have done a better job, but you know. <laughs> I don't know if I would have or not. Pleasant M and Melinda Benning. Benning. That was his mama and daddy. Can you imagine being named something like Pleasant? You talk about being Old cursed, Rock. Man. Cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness, are these poker tables? I ain't joking. Well they they probably are. Maybe. Maybe it's not supposed to represent a poker party. Here. Here you go. Hold these for me. Y'all look. Did y'all watch the one about the poker table? Look at here. These are monuments. Wonder what it says. You know what? Y'all ain't gonna be able to read it. Oh my goodness gracious. I 
Okay. Okay, now I'm starting to think a little bit. These look just like the poker table over there in Salem, Alabama. But I can't read them. They're that old. But these people in here, look. People died 1850. That was a Confederate soldier. I don't, I don't know the significance of this table because I cannot read the top of it. You can kind of read this one. Well, I can film her. Belle Powers Carter. She was the wife of Robert Elliot Carter. She was the daughter of Colonel Franklin and Mary Vallow. She was born in Jackson, Louisiana. Died in 1954. Can't read what's on the table. And then over here is Thomas Nelson. He died in 1859, and so, okay. Wow, okay, all right. I can't quite make a connection right now. I'll go home and try to look it up and see if I can't figure something out. Okay. Yeah, see, you can't open the gate anymore. Don't you just love the gate? I didn't even try to go through it. I know, I noticed. I don't know what that means. Hmm. Another one of these tables over here. This is, can't read the name. This is actually located inside of a gated area. <laughs> so a lot of these little infantry museum, infantry graves. Cannot read it.
story behind every one of these. Very real people.